Here in this video, I am going to share with you how to create this type of bottom safe divider hover effect using this Elementor free page builder and some CSS. Here you can see that this is just cool hovering effect, you can see just wave effect like a sea, like a sea waves, you can see that automatically just hovering effect. If you are not hovering, if you are just scrolling, just, just keep the mouse in the cursor in the just middle, so you can see that this is automatically hovering. So how to do that with just using only simply CSS, but don't worry, I just put the all the text of CSS, CSS snippets in the description, you can just download it and paste it, I will show you the process how to do that or everything. So without further ado, let's get on the video. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am Soma from Decreto Academy. Alright, at first just take a look of the elementors and the plugins which I am using. So you can see that the, if I am just go to the appearance and themes, and it is done, does not affect the themes which theme in just using. Every every themes you can just use any theme you can just use it. So I am just showing you, I am just using Astra theme, you can just also choose it. So I am just using Astra theme and if I am just showing the plugin section and go to the install plugins, let me show you just what the plugins I am using. I am using only elementor free version, you can see that this is the elementor pro is here but I am not activating it. So I am using only elementor free version and here is everything is just disabled. Only I'm just I'm just using this to double preset, so I'm just deactivating this. Also, you just you will believe that. So you can see that this is just all this you see this well, this plugins, and you can just see that the elementor also just activating this plugin. So let me create a new page here. Just go to the hover button page, then go to the add new, and let me just create a new page that is like uh, wave waves effect. So you can see that just I'm mean, go to the disable this title then layout will be full stretched then publish click on publish and then again click on publish so after this i'm just go to this view page and click with the edit the elementor so it will even go to the elementor to the dashboard then we have to just make this i'm just see this is just images and this is just text and this is just with dividers and a description on the buttons i'm just keep this for looking better that's why i'm just i'm keeping this but otherwise you can also do it anything also so i'm just showing you how to do that so at first just click on the settings icon click on the page layout and go to the go with elementor canvas because in the elementor canvas we will get a lot of just features full updates everything from header transfer and header like transfer and footer everything you can do it from elementor canvas that's why i'm just using this so just click on the plus icon and select for the two column structure then click on this section three dot six dot six dot section click on the height and just click on this minimum height then keep it 402 i'm just giving it to 600 then just click on the style tab then go to the advanced tab and then just unbind this padding and top will be like 50 pixel bottom will be 50 pixel then go to the layout and give the just height to 500 that's it then just click on the style tab and then go to the background type and then color will be like this color so you can see that this type of just colors so i'm just giving this and then just click on the plus icon and i'm just giving the text editor here on small text editor so i'm just copying this and just give it dummy text then go to the style tab and give it to like uh, it is just basic i'm just showing you how to looks better understand that so i'm just giving to it is also you can use it as, as a landing page portion you can also use it landing page hero section also you can use it like this if i'm just showing you so you can also do that so i'm just giving it to like this and then i'm just giving it to go to the advanced type unbind this padding and margin and then bottom will be like i'm just giving to bottom so like 25 pixel that's it and go to the ruby square icon again click on the ruby square icon then search for divider and then just place it here after placing here then just uh, width will be like this width like that 20 pixel fine then go to the style tab and width will be 3.5 i'm giving it to 3 then 0.5 you can see that this is came then just go to the text and give it to white go to the advanced tab and this padding margin and then i'm giving it to bottom like 15 pixel and top will be also again just give minus 15 pixel that's it fine then just go to the cruise icon again and placing the heading here so i'm already show you how to just place the heading so let me just create it anything so i'm just copying the text from here so i'm just copying the text and then just paste it here go to the style tab go to the text and give it to white color then i'm just giving it to poppins color you can see that and then just give it to sorry i'm just giving it to 700 
and then transfer will be upper case so you can also do that in the default default you can do that then just size will be like 85 pixel and then line height will be pixel like this 75 pixel I'm giving it to 85 that's it fine now keep the description so I'm just giving the advanced tab and go to the advanced and top will be like uh, only 20 pixel give it to 20 pixel and then go to the risk icon again and search for the description just go to the style tab and I'm just giving the tint color and then go to the just click on this and then go to the advanced tab unbind this padding and left uh, sorry I'm just giving it to right so right will be like uh, 30 pixel that's it fine and then you can also change the font poppins font and then just close this way again again and search for buttons so I'm just placing the button here and then go to the style tab to change the button color I'm just giving it the button background to this and then solid and then width will be like this and then text color will be like fine typography also you can change it to poppins I'm giving it to poppins color 5 so this is a typography Poppins font and then go to the hover over section and then border color will be like white color if I'm just hovering it is nothing here and then you can also change the animation from here I cannot just change I am just changing it so keep the background color to white color if I'm just hovering so now it is just came and the text color will be like pure black color so now if I'm hovering it is just came now if I'm just searching for it so if I'm just click on this transparent and then if I'm hovering so it will just came okay, let me just copy this color so it will looks more fine to copy this and then text color will be like this color this color if I'm hovering so you can see that then border radius will be like 35 pixel like this if I'm just hovering so it will come so now let's just place one image to looks better understand so just click on this place the image and if I'm just uploading one image you can see that this it is just came so now just click on this update button click on the update button again and then just load this page then you can see this is just a simple this is a simple just divider text and this is the buttons and text and everything and this is the image so now we want to create the this type of just wave effect this type of wave effect wave effect just so how to create that I'm already just it is created by who is just you have a wordpress knowledge or html knowledge css knowledge so you know that it is there is on keyframe that is a keyframe like uh, to animate everything you, you can use the keyframe let me just show you the css snippet Here you can see that this is the elementor shape button and this is the animation this is uh, just wave effect 22 seconds you can also change the change to that so if you don't have knowledge just copy this just download from the description and copy it and paste it you can also do that but i'll show you if you have knowledge so let me just explain you something that is you can change it everything so you can see these are just 210 percent keyframes wave to 0 percent to margin left to 0 and then you can see margin left from 1600 pixel you can also do that in only 1500 pixel also and then you can also do that in 1500 pixel everything and wave this is a 22 pixel you can also do 22 20 seconds and then you can also do that everything so i'm just letting me copy this all things control a press control and just copy it and then just click on customize sorry i'm just clicking on another page so you can see that this is the page how are you how you can see that there is nothing so just click on this customize so let me just create this in and then just scroll down scroll down you can see that it is as additional CSS so just click on it and then you can see this is just all th these things so let me just delete this all things and then paste it here so after pasting it so now I am just publishing it so just I'm, let me just load this page again so just it is just copy it and you can see that this is the 200 pixel and this is the just body so if you don't know how to just do that everything so let me just show you in every, every just example if you do that in everything just you can see that the width will be 200 pixel and everything so you can change it let me just show you in the in this section so I'm just copying this so this is this is our page so let me just preview this page then you can see this is just hovering so I'm just click on this customize page and then just let me show you the additional CSS then you can see this is just body and everything so I'm just copying this I'll just put in the in the description and you can also do that 
so I'm just call it, let me just copy this and go to the customize again and then go. you have to don't know have nothing if you, if you have don't know nothing or everything so I'm just about the CSS or everything so you can do that only using this in the download button and then just download it and paste it here so after pasting it you will see this type of just hovering effect here this type of hovering effect here, this type of hovering effect here. You can also do that and you can also control the let me just create the it is just not hovering so it will see you can see that it is hovering but i'm but i am not we are not so uh, visible that so how to do visible it's a mistake okay if you if you have just knowledge please comment down how is the mistake so let me just do it solve it just click on this edit the elementor button so where is the mistake i am telling let me, let me tell you so you can see that this the, I am not giving the background shape divider that's it and just click on this tile tab then just giving the shape divider and click on bottom and then if you just click on the waves you can see that this the waves is just happening so you can do that by clicking on this height control you can do that height controlling height and then if you just click on this 75 pixel it is just hovering now so now if I'm just loading this page this is the page this you can see that this is hovering but we are not visible properly just click on this load page then you can see that the hovering this effect so I think this video is <laughs> give you funds a lot so if you have not just given knowledge new uh, something if you learn something so please subscribe this channel like this video comment down below and share with your friends and who needs this and see with, if you have not just any video suggestion or everything what the topic will be the next video so, and if you have if you want that business website you can you can search or something so please comment on as your topic so i'll cover the topic later see you in the next video till then bye bye thanks for watching